Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, Empower Your Dreams. You have reached my Oracle and Tarot edition to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Taurus, I'm going to be doing a love reading for you guys today uh, for the very first two weeks of November 2019. But do keep in mind that my readings are timeless. If they are resonating, the messages are for you. Uh, remember to take what you can out of the reading and leave the rest. Don't make it fit, okay, guys? If it isn't resonating within the first 15 minutes of pulling cards, then this message wasn't for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So um, check one of your other signs okay if it's not um your sun sign that's re uh, resonating check one of your other signs um that are going to be uploaded shortly um and check through those playlists okay i do have most of the playlists down in the description box okay so i'm going to do a love reading for you and your person of interest i'm going to do two sides for two different people you guys can pick what side you belong to okay um for the purpose of calling the very first cards i'm going to call on Tau taurus and taurus's person but these can be um reversed so what does what is it a spirit that taurus my empowered souls need to surrender also guys i did i wasn't able to get any messages through songs for you guys i do have the radio playing i was seeing a little bit of conflicting energy uh in the pre-shuffle and now I'm hearing a song. Just a second here. It's called In My Head by uh, Rylan James. And like, like I said, I was getting some conflicted energy. Surrender to complete healing um, for the person that's gonna be on this side. And what about the person on this side, please, Spirit? Yeah, somebody's really thinking about somebody. Yeah. Somebody's really in their head about uh, this connection. Surrender to worry, okay? For the person that's going to be on this side. Now, um, in the extended, I'm going to be pulling a... Um, cards of what it is you have mastered in this relationship you know what i may even do it i did it for um the other signs in the actual reading here i may do that again today just to give you something else before we leave you guys get lots of messages before we even go to the extended okay extendeds are on vimeo and patreon what do we have for a focus please spirit for these two and a love for November, first two weeks of November 2019. What do we have for the focus? Sorry guys, these cards are slippery. Let's try that again. Focus, please. Focus, please. Focus, please. There we go, anything else? nothing is yet set in stone yeah i'm getting the sense of some worry um and worry of the outcome um let's see what else okay well we got two that just come out i think that's good bring love into the situation instead of step out of your comfort zone so those are the overall energies um, and focuses for this reading. So the person on this side has surrender to complete healing, okay? And it says, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing, okay? And the person on this person on this side, I think this is the person that's kind of stuck in their head, um, but we'll see how the cards come out. Uh, make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise breathe them out of your body focus on the power of your heart and have the faith that spirit is guiding you always 
So if we have anxieties in our head and sometimes we can have those negative self-talk, um, recognizing them right away is very important. Um, acknowledge them, say cancel, cancel, get rid of those thoughts, but we need to replace them, okay? This is key. Whenever we're getting rid of something, we need to replace it with something positive. So then give yourself a positive affirmation, okay? For whoever that's resonating with or just, you know, some general um advice there for you guys okay so let's jump in and see what is going on here for my beautiful taurus so i've been pulled lately to use these cards well the last reading i did and um a couple before this i haven't posted all these yet but um i've been guided to take this i've already shuffled these um i'll try to give them a shuffle here just on camera just because they're so big now i'm using the energy oracle deck and the um whimsical i think it's called um oracle wisdom of oracle that's it deck by clot baron reed um because i get extra additional messages when these are combined and I am taking the red deck now in reverse. I wasn't before, but I was, I've was. i been very guided to do so. So let's see what's going on in the overall energy with this connection with the person on the left here. What's going on overall? That's too many all at once here. Okay, overall energy, please. Overall energy. Overall energy, please. Person on the left, the pe person that needs to completely heal. Yeah, they're feeling a little imbalanced. We have this is too many places. Okay, we have the angel of balance. It's in reverse. Feeling out of sorts. This could be because you're not healed, whoever's on this side. Uh, too many spirit. I'm just gonna take them because they all flew out. It's okay. Let's see what's going on. Hmm, stagnation energy. We have, um, it could be this connection is not in um, union at the moment. We have the non-action card, you know, not moving forward, stagnant energy, feeling very unbalanced um, in this relationship, in this connection. But there's a main character that you really have on your mind, uh, which I believe is this person on this side. Um, you guys could be in separation with this yin, yin and yang in reverse. This is a twin flamish um, soulmate divine counterpart card in my deck. A lot of res reversals right out, out of the gate. Um, it could be that you're needing to heal this um, energy. Okay. With that top card. You know, the, the focus that come out first was nothing is set in stone, okay, guys? And bring your love into the situation. Okay, so what's going on with this person, please, Spirit? Surrender to worry under this individual. What's going on with this person, please? Guys, if you don't have a person of interest, just remember this could be somebody that you're calling in or it could be your inner divine masculine, divine feminine the energy. We all have both, no matter man or female. Same goes when I have a man or a woman card, guys. It's just um, energy, okay? It doesn't mean that it's a man. It doesn't really mean it's a woman. Whoa, those just like flew out. In between worlds, they could be coming out of a new, uh, a different relationship. Okay, so yeah, they have some imbalanced energy here as well. So we have in between worlds, not quite out of one thing yet. 
um, not quite moving into something else. I did see the three party, uh, third party card in the shuffling. Um, and I feel that this person feels that there's somebody that is their divine feminine. Okay. The one for them. Um, they've really been thinking about this person and they feel like this person is home to them. Um, but then there's something else that they're thinking about. Um, it could be this other person if there is a third party. Um, we'll see as the cards fly out or they're just uncertain um, with the connection. They're having a little bit of doubts of, you know, their true feelings here. Let's see what's going on. Uh, guys, I'm going to try to make these videos faster. Um, okay, let's see. I kind of treat them as a personal. My personals go about an hour and some long. Um, that's why I do extendeds. Okay, so let's see where this person on this side is. Please spirit for, oh, there we go. Their heart space. Envy, it's in reverse. Uh, the garden. In the upright, the garden and the gate. What else? Oh, throat chakra. You want to communicate whoever's on this side or you're waiting for communication. Man holding a heart. It's in reverse. I'll get one more. Loyal heart. Yep, there's my twin flame card. Okay, so I have two twin flame cards now on the table. This could be a twin flame and a divine counterpart soulmate. However you guys resonate with them. Twin flame is just a popular uh, term. I more likely relate to divine counterpart, but everybody's different. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. I'm going to pull the cards and then I'm going to talk about them. I'll pick them up and show you. It, I find it just, it goes smoother. It's faster. I'm trying to get faster here, guys. Uh, what's going on? There we go. Okay. <laughs> what's going on on this person's side? So the heart. That wanted to show in the, yep, and that wanted to fly out earlier. Uh, the fates is in reverse. They're having some doubt about what this connection is. Um, they're not sure if they can or want to go the distance. Door to value and spirit. Um, now let's see. We have door to spirit. Door to value. Fates and go the distance. I think I have equal amounts. I do. Okay, let's see what's what's going over on over here in the heart space, please. Building blocks is in reverse. What else in the heart space, please, for this individual on this side? Holy smokes. Truth. Seventh chakra. In the thought space, very much in deep thought. Um, looking for the truth, trying to balance everything out. Yeah, round and round. There's karmic circle uh, cycles that are going on. And community. Yeah. Okay. So you're in deep contemplation on this side about a third party situation coming to an end. You're, maybe you're not in communication, so you're not quite sure what's going on. Uh, round and round is in reverse, and so is the community card. I'm going to go over these again in a minute. Um, let's see where this person is, please. And their thoughts. This card did want to show in the upright, okay, in the pre-shuffle. Woo! Yep, there's a message. It's also in reverse. So this person is wanting to come in to this person or vice versa, and but you're, it's on your mind. What else here? Yeah. Hmm, they're having a thought of a change in the wind. We have the bless card. Um, what else here? And their thoughts. That not for you card wanted to show in the pre-shuffle. It was in reverse in the pre-shuffle. It came in upright. So they're feeling like something isn't for them, but there is 
there's two parties here I strongly feel involved. I'll get one more for this person. Put this card sideways. One more for this person. Oh, that's too many. Woman holding a heart wanted to show earlier, though. What else? Anything else, please? What else, please? There it is. Contract in the upright. They're thinking about what this connection is, I believe. Um, or it could be speaking about ending the karmic contract as well. It is on the upright. So it's something that they're thinking about moving forward with. Or maybe this cycle isn't quite finished with yet. I do see both of these in the reverse though. So that's a good thing. I want to get one more, please, for each. I'm going to move to this side. One more, please, for the thought space. One more for the thought space. Whoa. Smokes. Like, they just flew out. I'm going to I'm gonna take them because they make sense to the storyline. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see all these, but you know what? I will pick them up for you when I'm ready to explain everything all at once here. This is how these came out. So we have the here and now, wanting to be pre in the present mo moment, wanting to move to smoother waters with this person, and wanting to reunite or unite with this caring connection with this person on this side. Um, you're thinking about this um, a lot. You're thinking about this third party situation. You're very much trying to ground yourself though through this whole process. Um, you are in your head a bit about it. Um, but I'm thinking it's not in reverse, so I'm, I don't. I'm not feeling like that. You're stuck in your head in a negative way, um, but it's on your mind and it's probably bothering you. So now let's see. Let's I cut three more on this side. Let's see what. Well, let's just see what comes out. What else, please? Ying. Yeah, they're starting to balance their feminine energy. It doesn't matter if this is a man or a woman, but they are trying to um, balance out their energy, their ying. It's in their thought. Um, so, yeah. Balancing the storm. I'll get one more just because the other side has... Whoa. <laughs> okay, spirit. So I'm seeing um, that they've been... <sighs> they've seen themselves go round and round. Um, they may have some financial constraints and they do see this door to romance. Again, there's three people, but I'm sensing that it's about you because it is in their thought space with you. Let's try to get one more. Just one more though, please. Spare it. One more. One more, please. Overall thoughts. There we go. Heart chakra. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to read these first. And then I'm going to see what... Hmm. Then I'm going to move to the movement on the bottom. Okay. So we have here... Feeling very imbalanced. I kind of went over these ones already. Um, you know, about this relationship. I now do feel that this is twin flame. Very possible. Divine counterpart. Um, you're thinking a lot about this person on this side. No matter if it's man or woman. It doesn't matter. Um, in the past, you've been very envious of... Um, Something to do with the, this relationship. You're letting that go. It is in reverse now. Um... Being envious isn't always a, 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 it's not really a positive thing, right? It's kind of, this is also my, kind of my spy card. Kind of sitting in the dark, just kind of spying on people that are walking by. It came up with the garden and the gate. You could have in the past been very envious about this person and the and their other partner's relationship. Um, you're starting to kind of 
move the thoughts based on that, um, how you feel in your heart about um, this person over here with their other person, realizing that, you know, everything does happen for a reason, I'm feeling. I strongly feel that in your heart space, you're just waiting so f for this communication. You're waiting for this communication from this person. Um, hmm. But yeah, I think the person on this side knows what this connection is. And because the two twin flame cards come out on this side, I'm feeling like and the in-between worlds is on this side, that it's this person on this side that has the third party. You both could. Um, it, it's very possible. But your thoughts on this side is, you know, are we ever going to be able to build, you know, you're, you're in your head about it very much. You want the truth to be told. You're waiting for that message to come in. You're waiting for this person to give their heart to you. But all in all, you're really trying to stay grounded as much as possible. I do recommend that you get out into nature as much as possible, okay? Guys, just remember time and energy is not linear, so these messages can be kind of flowing in and out of the storylines. But I, I think you're thinking about this connection ending with this third party. I don't know if it has ended yet because this is the thought space. It's not the movement space. You're really thinking about here and now. You're thinking, which direction do I want to go? I want to go in smoother waters, but I'm feeling so sad. Like, she's very sad in this book uh, about he, she. But you're very in deep thought about this connection. You have it on your mind, that's for sure. Okay, so let's move over here to this person. We have... Um, in between worlds, I went over these ones. So you're feeling this person here is not quite out of something yet. Um, they do feel like you're their goddess. Um, there's no place like home. They're having a little bit of imbalance still, which would be very natural if they're coming out of a different and a new relationship. Sorry, an old relationship. We have go the distance and the fates and imagine. They're all in reverse. So in their heart space... Uh, door to value, I feel that they're starting to open up to loving themselves again. I don't feel that this is that they don't value you um, because we have positive things up here, okay? Um, everything is feeling very uncertain in their heart. Very unbalanced, very uncertain. They don't know which way to go. Um, they're feeling torn is what I'm, I'm getting. Um, they could have children with this other person. They could um, be in some kind of karmic cycle that is just seems impossible to break. Um, but they do have spirit on their mind. Um, they could be si seeing signs and synchronicities of the help from spirit. Maybe they're praying a lot. Um, you know, they're... They're in deep thought here with this Imagine card. I'm getting the word obsessed with that for some reason. Obsessive thoughts about what, what to do. It's just like plays over and over and over. I know this is their heart space, but their heart just feels so torn. Like I'm getting back and forth, back and forth with this being in reverse beside the fates. Now their thoughts, they're, the very first cards that came out were blessed, a message, and strength. I want to put these how these came out. It tells a better um, story. Okay. So their thoughts about you 
they want to come in with this message to you that you're wanting it's in reverse i don't think that there's going to be much movement just yet or at least in their thought space they're just they're very um they're not sure how to do it they're trying to figure out what to do what to say how to say it um but being in reverse um they're very still in their head about it they're trying to find the strength to figure it out but they do feel that you are a blessed person and they want change they want this change to come in they don't want to be a part of this storm okay this shit show i'm just going to say it um th this is them up here in this in this um carousel or whatever that is there on the on the top of the zebra but um they don't want to be up there anymore uh caught in the middle um and it's funny because we did get the storm card that came out um <clears throat> i think in their headspace they're thinking that you're they're not good enough for you because we have the heart chakra that came out <clears throat> Yeah, they they have the yin. They're trying to balance their thoughts right now and trying to embrace their th feminine side and get out of that masculine um, side and this negative thinking about the connection. Um, and it could be very possible that they're just thinking, you know, this storm here is not for them. They're just done with um, all this because they want that change to come in. You guys will ha have to let me know how this resonates because this is a general read, you guys, okay? It's not going to resonate with everyone. And then we have the heart chakra and the contract. So I feel that they know or they're thinking about, they could be looking up what uh, Twin Flame and Divine Counterparts are. They have love for you. Um, it's showing here in the cards. I mean, it shows up top as well. So I want to see what um, I want to see what spirit before I do the movement. I think I'm going to do the movement um, in the extended. No, I'm going to do the movement now. I'm going to do in the extended what spirit is trying to tell this person and then the person on the left. But. I'm going to do the movement. I feel that it's this person on this side that needs to do the movement. So I'm going to do them first and then I'll do the reaction to the movement over here. You guys can take it how it resonates. Okay. Whoa, these cards are just flying. They're starting to release themselves. All tied up is in reverse. Mm. They're getting out of their head, which is great. Okay. Is there going to be movement? What's going on here? Their intuition might be still a little off. I'm going to kind of come out like this, but we have the door to healing. I'll pick these up for you guys in a minute. Door to personal healing and happiness. Everything on the other side of this is just beautiful. Whoa, holy smokes. Okay. There may not be movement quite yet, guys. They're still having some uh, chaos and conflict in their mind their intuition is off still a little bit um but this person does love you and they think about you um they're not in a happy place right now and i feel that i feel with this contract up here in the heart and wanting to come in with this message but you're, they're just not ready I feel that's exactly what it is. They're not happy where they are right now. Even if they've left this third party situation, they don't want to come in until, you know, they have peace and they have something really good to offer you. Okay. They don't want to come in with all this chaos and conflict still in their life. And to be very honest, good on them because, um, you know, it's hard to wait if this is the person for you and you have free will. You don't have to wait. Um, and again, this is a general reading. But the thing is, is that they're starting to release themselves, okay, and get out of their head about everything. But they're going to need some time. They need time to go within and they need time to do this, okay? If you guys want this happy ending beyond these doors, um, most certainly this person needs to balance their own 
intuition. Um, they have to learn to be happy with themselves, uh, be happy um, with where they are in life before they can move in with that beautiful treasure card. Okay, the treasure treasure island. They don't want to share the ca the chaos with you. They want to share love. So let's see what you're. Okay, yeah, you're feeling victorious. Um, either way here, I feel. Let's see, door to romance. Yeah, you or the person on this side. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay, that's way too many, but. Look what flipped out though. Wish fulfillment, door to romance. I don't know what else is under there. Okay, so we have door to romance that came out. You feeling victorious um, with this person? Maybe they've come in with some sort of small offer or they will, but you're, you're feeling victorious um, with this connection. Okay, that wants to come back out. It come out reverse, but I'm going to put it upright because it came upright the first time. Yeah, you're going to be patient. Um, well, it's kind of showing in reverse. Um, what I'm getting from this is that you, because this, I strongly feel this is a divine counterpart, twin flame soulmate connection. We have the contract card over here as well. Um, I feel that you are getting a little impatient with this person's movement towards you. However, with that said, okay, um, Taurus, you feel victorious about this romance. I think that you just have this inner knowing that it's going to be a success. Um, you are getting a little agitated, okay? Now just remember, um, patience is a v virtue and it is a really big lesson on this journey, okay, of Twin Flames Divine Counterparts especially. So just keep in mind guys, you have to keep focusing on you. You have to keep focusing on your healing and your journey with the divine. Keep doing whatever it is you feel your true north is, okay? Whatever it is that you can do in life that you have a passion for that is serving others, it does not have to be a spiritual journey. A lot of times Twin Flames and Divine Counterparts are called to action to help raise the consciousness, but I'll tell you what, not everyone does that. And the way that they help raise the consciousness of the earth is doing what they love to do and sharing it with the world, okay? So whatever that is that you love to do, you have a passion for, um, do it. Do it. Make it a career. Make it, um, you know, a service to others. Uh, you know, whether you're getting paid or it's just something you do on the side and it's a hobby, whatever that is, focus on that. Um, that's really the big homework in Twin Flame Divine Counterparts, okay? Let's see what else is going to come out. Pa we have patient, uh, you know, the impatient card. Yeah, you know that it's divine timing. I have the TikTok, TikTok, and that is my divine timing card. <clears throat> the world. Yeah, you want change. You're having a bit of anxiety when it comes to when's this going to come together? When's the gift going to come in? When's the uh, communication come in? You know, you do want change. You want this relationship to come together. You want change. Um, but I feel that you know you're going to have change because, look, we have the tick time to build a foundation. It's a three, okay? When you are... I want to say when you are ready, but when the divine feels you are both ready, okay? If this person comes in broken, it's not going to work anyways, okay? So keep keep your head above water. Keep focusing on you is the biggest, biggest thing, okay? So um, what I'm going to do in the... Um, Extended is I'm going to get what does what is spirit trying to tell the both of you about this connection in, um, you know with intuitive hits and such. I'm going to clarify these cards as well. I'm going to before I let you go though. If I see fitting, I will pull some tarot of sexual magic as well at the end. It depends on how the cards fly out. Um, before I do that, if I feel that you're going to be in union, I do that. Okay. So Spirit, what is going on? I'm going to get a message from Spirit too before we leave here. What is going on here? What have these two released already? 
um, or, you know, fully surrendered to or mastered, okay? Um, you know, we're always working on things. I don't know if we ever really master anything, but let's see. What does Spirit have to say? I'm going to do this person first. What has this person on this side um, learned, Spirit? What have they learned? What have they released? What's going Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So yeah, um, opening yourself up to beautiful things, um, not blocking yourself off by getting caught into your thought too much, over the connection too much. Um, allowing things to come in is really a gift of knowing how to let go fully, okay? Um, and letting go fully is very important because um, if you're not letting go fully of what this connection is and who it may be in the end, you're not going to be able to bring that person in, okay? What else? I'll get one more. I'm over time here. One more. There we go. And two for your person or the person on the right. What's going on here? What have they surrendered already? Right? What have they learned? I have one flip there. Nope. There's one for them. Let's get one more. One more for the person, please. Whoa. Okay, right, they got two. That's fine. Two more. Okay, and now I'm going to get a message from Spirit. So, the last one out for you is purple. Develop mental clarity. Very nice, yeah. This is your fifth or seventh chakra. Gaining that clarity, you know, of what the truth is. Um, and focusing on the truth and moving past the blocks that you're blocking yourself. I will go over the blocks as well after the message from what spirit wants for the both of you. Okay, so this person got red, gold, and uh, scarlet. Red says, free yourself from pain. Yeah, they're healing still, okay? They're healing, um, and they, but they need to release it out and bring love in, okay? We have gold, attract abundance. So they're really starting to master um, this idea of attracting love. Uh, and abundance as well. They are currently working on releasing this pain. Um, I say released or mastered, okay, guys? Um, but, you know, it could be something that you're currently just really working on and attracting success. So this person's really been focusing on how to manifest, okay? And you over here, you've been really focusing on how to uh, open that crown chakra um, and have a higher understanding of things. And you've really a master kind of allowing these, um, this ebb and flow into your life. Um, again, because you know that this is all in divine timing. So good for you. Now let's see what's going on here. I'm going to get a message. I have two, I have the chakra cards and um, the, what other ones do I have here? The sacred cards, I think they are called. So, okay, for this person on this side, what's your message, please, Spirit? Surrender to complete healing. Okay, there's your two. And for the person over here, whoa, okay, we'll take the one that flipped. Oh my goodness, you guys both got the communication card. Is it that something? Oh my goodness, Spirit, that's awesome. Okay, what else? Anything else, please? One more for this person on this side. Okay, we'll take the one. Soul healing. Your guys' reading is very similar to the Capricorn reading. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or they could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, let's see. 
So Spirit is saying, what did I say? Get creative in what it is that you are passionate about. This is your second chakra. This is very um, creative. Anything that makes and an, like puts a fire under your butt in a good way, like something that you are just very it makes this burning desire to give more out of what you're creating find what that is okay spirits saying the same thing that i just said um you know they guide me to say these things anyways they're saying it again they're saying find what it is that you want to focus on that you can serve okay and communication and what did we say we said bring love into the situation okay stepping out of your comfort zone was also shown so i think that um communicating as much as you can um if if it's not appropriate to move forward i would say not to um communication with others in general is a is something that spirit is asking you to focus on but um also communication i feel that you guys are communicating in the 5d i think that you guys there's some uh, telepathy uh, going on um, and you may be already aware of this Taurus and we have soul healing so they got um, two cards of healing so they're focusing on it they're, they're releasing the pain um, but and spirit saying keep on that path okay guys so thank you for joining me I will see the rest of you on the extended if you choose don't forget to like comment and subscribe it does help circulate the videos for other people to see as well if you would like the personal you can find that information down below too. Info at empoweryourdreams.ca. Info at empoweryourdreams.ca. And it is only $60 Canadian right now. Uh, the videos are about an hour and some. You get six questions. I give uh, extra two, one from your person, one from spirit. And typically you end up getting a lot more answered than the six questions that you came in with. Okay. So thank you very much. Much love, light and laughter and stay empowered.